Okay, guys, let's let's get it started. We're joined by uh, Anya Bonde. Uh, Anya, introduce yourself and tell us why you are here. Uh, but try to be as loud as possible because the gentleman is talking very loudly. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, I, I'll try. Uh, my name is Anna. I am um, head of design at the Agenda Company. Wait, wait, wait. Your company has such a brilliant name because recently I learned Italian a little bit and it is supposed to be pronounced like this. Ageto. More, I mean, <laughs> yeah, more emotions. Yeah, it's a really Italian word. Uh, uh, so we build uh, big eco and high loaded products. Uh, here are our customers. Uh, these are global brands and we have some projects for foreign countries like uh, Puma Australia or Puma Chile or Puma Turkey. Uh, but the major part of our pro projects are uh, on Russian market for global brands. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, building a big project is a huge work and some difficulties may arise in this process. Uh, so today we'll speak uh, which difficulties uh, this could be and what to do with them. Uh, the first thing uh, is that the strength is a team. Team is a power. One man, uh, no man. Uh, you all know these uh, characters, of course. <laughs> uh, also, there could be an art director. <laughs> you know, based, based on the last sign, the last one is extremely Russian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, famous Russian hackers. <laughs> so, uh, the team is a group of uh, professionals who are uh, really great in their field. Uh, but uh, when they face really big or difficult projects, they uh, come together to reinforce uh, each other. Uh, what is the best scheme uh, that this interaction between um, uh, uh, members of the team should be in IT company? It may seem that it should be linear interaction. Uh, like uh, one person finishes uh, his part of work, and pass it through to the next one. For example, designer uh, has drawn uh, the layout and pass it to the developer. Uh, but it's not really good. It's not, it's not a, a team indeed. Uh, uh, a good solution is um, when all team members are inside of, let's call it, one information cluster. Uh, so there is no such situation when I have done my part of work and forgot about it. Uh, I involved in the process of creating this product all the way. Uh, and there are three most popular, let's call it, bottlenecks when some difficulties may arise. Uh, I'm a designer, so I will speak about designers. So the first is designer and a manager. What could, could happen here? Overload. Uh, well, to put it simply, too much work, you mean? Yes, yeah, too much work. Uh, the manager uh, have a new task or a new project, and he don't uh, take, uh, I don't know how to say, notice if uh, the designer is busy or not. He just pass the task to him. Uh, and uh, what could happen? The, de the designer is overwhelmed with this task uh, and he can't uh, reject to do this and he has no time. Uh, so the solution here could be ask the designer to evaluate the task himself. Uh, uh, what I mean, uh, the manager can consider the task trifling, uh, very easy, but he is not a specialist in design. Uh, so it could appear, uh, occur that uh, 
the task is really large. So I sometimes ask my designers to evaluate the uh, task himself. And after that, uh, we um, watch how uh, uh, the designer made his own estimate. Uh, this, the second one, uh, make a workload plan. Uh, I think everybody knows uh, the gun chart, uh, which shows uh, the well, load plan of a designer or a company or a project. Uh, but there is a thing you should consider when you have a chart, gun chart. Uh, consider corrections because uh, gun chart on the previous slide it was uh, something ideal. Uh, I have never seen the project uh, which was like that. Uh, dark blue uh, squares. Uh, this is edits, alterations, and corrections. So in reality, it looks uh, like this. Uh, the designer should finish the last task, but indeed he make edits at the first one. Uh, uh, next one. Little things are not so little. Uh, very popular situation when uh, HRs, managers, and <laughs> all other team members ask designer to help maybe with an eternal task or to make some edits to an old one. So it could be a good decision to reserve hours for minor requests. Uh, yeah, you're, you're right, because I really feel that uh, the designer in our company really suffers when we have all those small tasks for him. Yeah, uh, so it could be a good idea you know, to have these reserve hours, for example, um, four hours on Wednesday when designer uh, can do your small task. Uh, it's it also a good idea not to put it on the evening of Friday. <laughs> oh. Understanding is a two-way street. Uh, sometimes a uh, manager put uh, the task uh, omitting some uh, details which uh, the manager consider uh, not important or obvious, but they might be very principal for a designer. Like what? I mean, what, what, what can you be? Can you give us an example? Oh. No, I can't. I can't give you. I can't think okay, about it think immediately. About it maybe bit, yeah. later. I'll, I'll, I'll say. Um, what can help here? Det detail brief. Um, yeah, I I I know. Um, the example. Uh, we have uh, one client who uh, asks always to start from mobile version. Uh, but now we know that. Or we have <laughs> uh, one client who don't like uh, their brand image. It, it is strange, but it really is. Uh, and uh, when we work uh, first time with him, uh, we didn't know that. <laughs> so, so we start from desktop, or we use this image, and the client don't like. Uh, then I ask the manager, please write it in the task, write it in the brief for designer. Start with mobile version. It's really important. Uh, and the next scene, <laughs> not scene, even a person, it's an art director. Uh, art director, this is um, usually in companies the most experienced designer uh, who knows not only subtleties of creative process, but also he or she understand uh, the work of manager. Uh, the best metaphor for relationship uh, of designer and a director could be a sportsman and his coach. Uh, coach, uh, knew what uh, the sportsman need, how he can do his best, but uh, 
The coach don't need to run, for example, the whole distance by himself, or even the sportsman can run faster than his coach. That's true. Uh, but the function of the uh, director um, to make best, uh, I don't know, conditions uh, so the designer could do his best. Uh, uh, both an effectively relationship between a director uh, and designer when a director use a designer just as working hands. Uh, do what I say, and that's all. Uh, and another... Mm, it's just terrible. It doesn't even work with developers. It, it can't work with designers, for sure. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, and another... Uh, also an effective relationship when there is a phantom art director. Uh, this is the case when he just give designer a task and uh, disappear, so the designer have no feedback. The phantom of the opera. <laughs> the phantom of a designer. Uh, so if you are a designer, what, how to communicate with your art director in the best way? Uh, the first thing, don't blindly obey the words of the art director. Uh, you can uh, argue, you can discuss, you can explain what you want to say in your layout or your, in your prototype. Maybe you uh, haven't enough uh, tools or skills to show your idea in your layout. Uh, Anya, do you think it's a good idea uh, for, a, for an art director to give the designer just the general guidance about the project and the designer will decide the, detail, the details himself? Does it work like that? Y yes, yes, it, it really work, works. Um, maybe a, a director make uh, a general conception mm -hmm. and uh, the designer I improve it or make details. Uh, feel free to ask questions. Oh. Any questions? Any yeah. <laughs> ah, you, you, you mean yeah. inside, in, inside your company? So. <laughs> uh, uh, what I mean? Uh, sometimes a uh, junior designer can't understand uh, the uh, requirements of manager or the client. Uh, remember that the art director is a translator from managers or clients language to designers. So ask if you forgot what to do or you don't understand what to do. Uh, he will help you, believe. Uh, and uh, the next one is don't take criticism to heart. Uh, remember that uh, the goal of a director to make your work better, to make you more professional. Uh, when he criticizes, uh, he not criticizes your ideas, your skills, your brains. He criticizes the work because he has more experience and he wants to help you. So it's not personal thing. Oh, that's my, <laughs> that's my favorite. Uh, designer and developer. I think it's the most pain, painful relationship in IT, in IT company. Uh, the toxic one, right? Yeah, really. really. <laughs> um, usually it um, develops in two directions. The first, uh, the first conflict when uh, transferring uh, layouts to development. Uh, developer usually it's front-end developer, uh, see the layout, he says it's great, but we, we can't do this. <laughs> and uh, he got the power <laughs> because he uh, is a good technical specialist and uh, he has a lot of arguments. And a designer don't know what to say because <laughs> he's not so good at the technical details. Uh, and uh, the second stage of this conflict is when passing the result. Uh, when the designer sees uh, his work, uh, 
You mean his work as a product? When yeah, yeah, yeah. Like his work as a product, he understands it's something wrong. Uh, and so what to do? Uh, uh, guidelines could help. Yes, I am talking about UI kits, uh, design systems. Uh, these uh, things will help the designer to have a strong system on which uh, he uh, could relate when uh, communicating with uh, the developer. <laughs> and the team work at all stages. Uh, as I said uh, on one of my previous slides, uh, when um, all team work in one information cluster, there is no such situation where designer passed his uh, layouts and forgot about this. Uh, all team members should communicate. So if there is some problem, they should discuss. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, so uh, the previous uh, speaker told a lot uh, about uh, soft skills. This is the clue. I think it's uh, the greatest thing for communication. And um, here I have uh, several uh, principles uh, which can help uh, to communicate effectively. Uh, responsibility for the common result. Uh, indeed, when a user uh, work with your website or, or as a service, uh, they don't really care who, who was wrong. The designer was wrong, the manager was wrong, or maybe it was a developer. He blame all team. You just don't like the, uh, uh, your, your product. Uh, so you're all responsible for the result. Uh, the second thing is openness to criticism not only for designers, for, for, for all. Uh, and the next thing is positive conflict. Uh, uh, we all, um, I don't know, maybe afraid of conflicts, uh, but it's not, not uh, good uh, un until it is productive. Uh, what I mean, if you have conflict and you discuss these problems, you can find uh, really great solutions. And uh, this will help to improve your product. Uh, that's all, guys. Thank you. Uh, and uh, again, I, was, I, I, I will misuse my power to ask you some of my questions. Uh, so in, in, in any company, how can you understand that you need an art director? I mean, uh, do you need a particular number of designers on your team to hire an art director or to promote one of them as an art director? I mean, is it, um, uh, does it, uh, is it really necessary to have an art director in a relatively small company when you have just three designers? I think if, if you have three designers, it's time for you to have an art director. Uh, I, I think the smallest team is one designer and one art director. Got it. And, um, well, you and the previous speaker told us that you need to support creativity, etc. But your, your speech was just a little bit closer to the real life, but still, uh, how, how can you, in this tough and real world, how can you support creativity when there are deadlines, uh, a lot of pressure, and as you know, in some companies, like in my company, uh, we were paid for so-called man hours, so any change will cost the client something. Uh, and by the way, another, another extra question, again, uh, do this, can designers, are they capable of thinking about money? Or maybe they just live in their world, in their own creative world where money just doesn't exist. Oh, okay, let's start with the first part yes. uh, about supporting creativity. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it was very close to to me this topic uh, because I have um, su such case when one of my best designers came and say, uh, "I I quit. Uh, 
uh, I don't understand why, because I assigned to her all the tasks I consider the most interesting and uh, the, the most difficult. So w w why? I asked her why. Uh, and she said, boring tasks. <laughs> I said, well, what do you mean? I put the best task in the world. <laughs> Uh, she said, I don't like um, uh, prototyping or UX. I like more creativity on UI and animation. Uh, and I said, uh, OK, don't quit. Let's do something with this. And I changed the type of task for her. Uh, and she started to do more creative tasks, what she wants. And she works with us for two years now. Yeah, that's, that's what you need juniors for on your team. I mean, when one of your developers or designers is extremely tired, you just need to hire a junior who will suffer with some uninteresting tasks. And uh, <laughs> this designer will feel much, much better. It was not, uh, it, they were not uh, interesting. Good. Not interesting. Good. And the second part about money? Uh, I think designers are not very good at counting money, <laughs> really. Uh, but uh, I teach them to count time. <laughs> and the manager, uh, I don't know, convert the time to money. Yeah. And uh, something else about the positive conflict. Uh, and as you know, in any conflict, someone is supposed uh, to compromise in the end. Is it always the designer, I mean, in the conflict between mm -hmm. a designer and an art director? Uh, so how, how this conflict, how is this conflict usually solved? Uh, I think we have this uh, question with the previous speaker. And, and I have time to thought about, <laughs> thought about it. Uh, yes, uh, there is such situation and uh, the art director has the last word. <laughs> And now the question from the audience. Is that gentleman, please? Uh, thanks for your presentation. Um, uh, you will have the slide um, uh, for junior designers about uh, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, I'm more from a manager side. Uh, what if junior designer is uh, hesitating to ask? Uh, he uh, is maybe shy or maybe afraid to fail. Just doesn't care. Well, basically, you mean he doesn't give his own opinion? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. uh, what can I do to make uh, him more confident? Maybe. More confident and more um, less shy of uh, to be failed. I I think he just need time, but on the on fir the first time you need to. Uh, so, sometimes I ask the designer, do you understand the task? And he said, yes, I do. But I, <laughs> I know, no, you don't. Uh, so I ask him, uh, please show me what you do at the end of the day. So I can understand or watch if you do the right thing or not. And we could uh, check it. So we have several steps. And when he has more experience, he uh, won't hesitate. Or when he understands that your uh, aim not to punish him <laughs> or, to, or to help him. And Artem, do not suffer, ask your question. What was it? I, there was a slide with some like the common result. Um, what if you skip the deadline um, badly? You lost time and time is money, so you lost money, so you, like, you did something, you resolved it. Uh, do you find whose fault was that? Like, who did wrong what? Who was right wrong? Yeah, usually, yeah. uh, uh, like, do you, uh, will you search whose fault was that? Investigate. <laughs> Investigate, yeah. Uh, for example, if it was a junior designer and uh, an art director, it's, this is a fault of our art director. But what it was not a junior, but it's okay, okay, it's, it's a fault of a junior designer, it's nobody's fault because, like, but what if it was a fault of some respectable designer? 
<laughs> it also the fault of art director. This is a true a life of an art director. <laughs> Always uh, when the designer uh, uh, make a good job, this is a designer's win. If the project fail, the art director is the person who every, everyone will blame. Well, I'm not sure. We don't have an art director on my on my team, but uh, quite quite often, answering to his question, quite often the project manager is to blame anyway. <laughs> yeah, he have the the first strike from the client. <laughs> yeah, well, from the boss. From the so, boss. So, any more questions? Anyone? Yes, please. Yes, we do. Uh, we uh, we had uh, a <laughs> uh, long story of uh, misunderstanding with our front-end developers. Uh, it, it, it's quite difficult. Actually. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and uh, there was such a situation because we have two offices, one in Taganrog and one in Rostov, so it's sometimes difficult to communicate. Mm -hmm. uh, so we even didn't know faces and names of each other. And uh, I understand this problem. And I, with the senior front-end developer, we organized a meetup. We, when, uh, where? <laughs> we um, discuss the most common pains and mistakes in work uh, of designers and front-end developers. And uh, we, are, we also invite managers to this meetup uh, so they could help us to communicate. Mm -hmm. So and it really helped. So basically, you need internal meetups for that. Is uh, that meetup uh, looks more like teacher and students or uh, like live communication between Uh, it, it, it was uh, like um, our two front-end developers had a presentation with uh, designers' uh, mistakes, let, let's call it like this, uh, that are most criti critical. Yeah. And uh, they were the audience of designers, other front-end developers and managers, and we discussed all these things. And after the meetup, uh, there was a checklist uh, what designers should do or shouldn't do in their layouts. Good. Good. And Anya, I want to ask you my personal question. It was a real pain for me. Uh, probably my worst disappointment in working with designers as a project manager. So once upon a time we hired a very expensive and experienced designer. He worked remotely, so he appeared in our office just once. And he, he did kind of an amazing job we really liked his designs, etc. But in the end, when we had uh, layouts and everything, uh, our front of developers looked at it and they said, we, we, we just can't do it and it's not going to work. And even worse, when we realized, well, he wasn't just a designer, uh, he created all the prototypes. So basically he, he was, the designer was behind the Make the general idea of that website and we when we looked at it in details we realized that many things were not uh, like analyzed even logically uh, what is the best way to prevent the situation so uh, on the side of the designer he did the real job he, he did everything perfect but we paid him but we uh, and by the way it happened again and again I mean he produced designs which were uh, like undoable, and then we, well, and secondly, he was an al alcoholic, so we start working with him. <laughs> so, what is the like the solution to prevent the situation? I mean, it's not just about not hiring alcoholics, but about this whole problem. Uh, I think at first it was not so great design as you said, because you have uh, not logical layouts, you said. Yeah. So, I think it's Maybe for junior 
designer it's okay, but for middle and upper it, it's not okay. Uh, but uh, we have no such, such problem because we have uh, the system when, uh, for example, middle of designers uh, are mentors for junior designers and I review middle designers, for example, and um, uh, we ask our front-end developers after this meetup, because we also had such situations, uh, to review the layouts. So they said, this is difficult, uh, we can't do this, but it may be 100 hours more. Mm -hmm. It could be very expensive. So we discuss our decisions. Any more questions? Anyone? No? Uh, let me ask one. Yes. Um, about, you said about criticism in uh, discussion uh, projects, but uh, if I remember our previous speaker, uh, she said about positive thinking, and uh, uh, how you deal with this balance between criticism and positive, uh, I mean, uh, motivation more uh, focused at uh, what done good and what we should should probably remake, so. Uh, yes, uh, the mm, important thing not uh, cr to criticize the, the person or his ideas. Uh, maybe you can criticize the decision and you should have a good explanation. Not just, I don't like. <laughs> it's not constructive critic. Uh, you should uh, to explain wh why it it maybe it's not even bad. It can't work like this. Oh. Yes, but I, I mean uh, more in that direction when you know people say that bad, that bad, that bad, and uh, this uh, come this imagination that it's all bad, and uh, it, for example, designer goes and depression and don't want to work, and uh, and in the opposite way yeah, to balance this. Uh, negative uh, thinking. You may, for example, rise or something about this project. And uh, uh, yeah. do, 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 uh, do this. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, I don't remember when the last time I've seen such a terrible work where there was nothing good at it. <laughs> so, of course, I said, this is good, uh, it's okay, let's do it. But please uh, think more about the theme or try, I don't know, no, another picture or another button or something like this. So, what questions have we finished? Oh, uh, Anya, could you choose just two questions, please? Which made you think or you hated the most, you liked the most? It doesn't matter. Uh, I like the last one okay, so about the finding also, balance. I also puzzle goes to you and I, I can't choose you, yes? <laughs> no, not this time. Oh, I don't know this guy behind you. <laughs> you know, I was considering giving it to him, but he's my friend, and oh, it, no. it would look very like biased, but I'm happy. Uh, there is no chance, after all, you're going you're to solve it anyway. Uh, Anna, thank you so much for, for your participation. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now we need a picture, and then I'll just make a very brief announcement. Anna, let's take a picture. Are you happy? Yeah. Any speaker? <laughs> Thanks. So guys, I, I just wanted to say some thank you, uh, the Big Ben level thank you goes to our friends from Data Art who supported us, like I, won't, I, I almost said severely, but to a huge extent, and the music was brought to you by our friends from Accenture, and hopefully, hopefully you really liked the mental stack lemonades. And I just wanted to tell you that uh, um, up to this moment, uh, this event was monthly, so it was held on a monthly basis, but unfortunately it takes too much of my efforts. Now it's going to be on a two-month basis, so the next time we're going to uh, meet again probably in the end of September, and hopefully you liked it. Uh, I just do it for fun. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure whether the next event will be some, uh, like, the, uh, it will have some 
uh, topic or idea, but anyway, see you probably in September. Thank you so much for coming. Do not forget to order pizza from our friend's daughter using IT Matters uh, secret code. Do not tell it to anyone. And thank you so much for coming. Hugs, hugs to everyone. And special thanks go to our three speakers, amazing ladies. Thank you so much.